So, I just thought I'd make a quick video today. This is Colburn, who's now, how old are you now? Are you two and a half, aren't you? So, what do we do? We go two, go two, two, which is also the peace sign. No, he just wants to show you his tongue. You just had chocolate, haven't you? I got that. You can get it. <laughs> I'm not going to go get it. You can go get it. You have Buzz? No, Buzz. Yeah, okay, you can put on Buzz. Put on whatever you want. Um, Buzz on. You want Buzz on? Okay, hang on one sec. Hey, so, sorry about all that. Buzz is on the sofa right next to you. Um, so, yeah, we've got Toy Story going on in the background now. And um, Corbin's just over there. Um, baby's just down here. I would show you him, but he's having a little snooze, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be <laughs> yanking him out. But um, if he does wake up, then I will, I will film a little and show you. But I've shown you pictures, so anyway, um, yeah. So I haven't been getting loads. Um, I went to my favourite charity shops, which were Sea Rider and Mind, and I got a few bits. I got two pairs of leather pleather slashy you know like not the real leather trousers but the leather look trousers i've got two pairs of them and um, they're both top shop i'm only going to show you one pair but yeah these were three pound fifty each um and these the other ones have got a zip here and then two little zips like uh zip pockets these ones zip up at the side but yeah these are three pounds fifty um and they fit like a glove as well uh, which I'm really pleased about because I did get a pair from H&M but H&M sizing is really weird in trousers um, well maybe not for you but I find it really strange um, especially as my my sizes fluctuated so much um, over the last year or so just what with my pregnancy and stuff is it Buzz? Buzz. yeah it is Buzz isn't it? it's Toy Story Buzz like you did you call him? But, um, yeah, so if you ever do shop there, then definitely try on their trousers because they are, I don't know, like, um, use your phone with Topshop. They, their, their sizes fit me like a glove. Um, whereas in a lot of other shops, they're either humongously big or stupidly small. So... I don't know, obviously it depends on what model they use for their, their sizing because people assume that all size 12s or all size 10s or all size 8s or whatever size, 18 or whatever, will be the same in every store. But of course stores use models um, that they basically, like they, you know, tailor the clothes to. And if you are not, if you don't fit in to that model size, then those clothes aren't going to fit you. So I think never assume that, you know, um, you pick up your size and it's always going to fit. That's the only thing with charity shops of, like, um, you have to try stuff on because, again, something might say size 14 or size 8 on the label and then you try it on and you're like, oh, definitely not. Um, but, yeah, but anyway, back to what I got. Um, I also got this really cute little dress I, this was an absolute bargain. This was six pounds. It's really gorgeous. It's got dots in the. I think they're in the back. Yeah, they're just in the back of the dress, and it zips up at the back. Um, and it's got this panel as well, so it fits really well around the bust. And this panel area here as well is is gorgeous. It's really flattering, so it nips me in at the waist. And it's quite long as well, but it's really pretty and it's got these flowers on. But this was £6, which if you think about it, um, you could get a dress in Primark for around £6. So I thought that was decent, because the thing is, no one else is going to have this. I think it's actually a vintage dress as well. Um, I always look at labels. Um, always check, if there's no label at the top, always check. And you usually find it by the care label. Um... So yeah, this is uh, Canva, Canva Stars. So and it's made in England. So yeah, it's really cute, and I just loved it. And for six pounds, I think that's amazing. So I was really happy with this. 
Um, I also got, I wanted to get, what I wanted to do was get a, a pencil skirt, like a bright pencil skirt, and I was going to do a stencil print over the top, but I've had real trouble trying to find like a really bright pencil skirt, like in the charity shop, because I would buy one, but when you do a DIY, sometimes it's not worth it, because if it goes wrong, then you spent a fortune on something that you've ruined, so I think sometimes with DIYs, it's best to do it on like just cheaper things anyway um but i picked up this it's marks and spencer's skirt and it's got this panel in the middle i don't know if you can really see it in this video but it's all like it's all like gathered here it's really pretty and it's on the back as well so it's really flattering this was um three pounds but yeah, and Marks and Spencers are really decent and, and their stuff wash as well. But I know it's great, it's a bit dull, but I thought at least it's classic. I'll keep it in my wardrobe. Yeah, so I got these as well. Not really my style. They're like, um, uh, what do you call it? Oh, I can't think. Hound's tooth, I think. That pattern. Not check. I think it's hands too, but I can't remember. I can't remember what it's called. Why is my brain gone dead? I don't know. But um yeah, these are high waisted. They're clearly like 80s power pants. The power suit. Um and I got these for two pounds in the Sue Rider shop. And um yeah, they look really tailored on. And I think if you styled them badly, they could look really dodgy and a little bit mumsy. But I think with like a really poppy coloured top and some maybe bright heels and like a statement necklace, these will look amazing. So I'll, I'll be wearing all this stuff as well in blog posts soon. I'm, I'm going to be getting back to doing like loads more outfit posts. I've got this necklace. This was £1.50 and it's perfect for like the colour book block trend going on but also it's kind of got this tribal element to it so I really liked that but yeah I've been trying not to get any jewellery um, and I got some shoes as well which were 2 95 each I got a pair of office neon wedges what, wedges? what am I on about? Um, <laughs> I got a pair of office kit kitten heel um, peak toes They've been worn a little, they've got a little scarf, but I thought that was really good. But, like, they're practically new. There's no wear in the heel whatsoever. And the same with these as well. Um, these are sandals from Faith. And they've got, they've got, like, studs on and all this detail. And I was going to get a pair of these, but the ones I saw, like, 65 quid. And I was like, I don't have 65 pounds. So, and again, these are hardly worn. And they've got, like loads of studs on and stuff I'm not overly keen on thongs but I don't mind them I've gotten used to them over the years but yeah that was everything I got um I'm going to be doing a sorry I just put this down I'm going to be doing a um, guide to charity shop buying. I thought it would be really useful as people are always commenting and saying, oh my God, where did you get that from on my blog? And I thought, um, as, as some people have never shopped in a charity shop, it can be hard to know kind of maybe what to look out for and a kind of guide to buying because obviously it's not the same as when you walk into a shop and it's all laid out for you. Like, in in a normal commercial shop, everything's laid out. You have visual merchandising so that basically you're guided through your whole shopping experience. Whereas in a charity shop, yeah, it's laid out. But usually it can be a bit of a minefield if you're not someone who's used to hunting for things. So I thought I'd do a guide or like a... Um, just give you some tips on, you know, how to shop from the charity shop. Just to, so that you get some really good finds as well. Anyway, um, for more, just head over to my blog. Or you can always add me on Twitter if you fancy a chat. Or if you've got any questions as well. But, ciao for now.